You know what? Those other stations got special guests like their cousin Ray Ray and them. Now I've heard everything. We actually have people you want to hear about. The show, dirty. Let's, let's see who's in the studio today. Day, day, day. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Blender WMUC 88.1 FM, College Park, Maryland. We got a got another special guest in the building. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, good sir? Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? The super producer of the DMV, JS, a.k.a. the best. We don't make moves, we make movements. What's good? All right, there you go, there you go. So you came up to came up to the station because you have a real special project. Most definitely, uh, something about nothing. Uh, it's a project Wale and JS, aka the best. Basically, this is a follow-up mixtape to his mixtape in 2010, More About Nothing. Basically, the whole concept was it was it's basically all of my production featured on More About Nothing. So it's More About Nothing vocals plus JS, aka the best production, and what that equals is something about nothing, giving you a, just a quick preview of my versatility as a producer i'm sorry okay okay and that actually just came out today right yes sir all right so where where can the people check that out um right now it's on my site jsakthebest.blogspot.com it just went on datpiff.com um pretty much djbooth.net uh it's on the net different blogs and different websites i'm not uh keeping track right now but um it's, it's out there all right, that's what's up. That's what's up, and we're gonna talk more about the, more about the project. But first, I wanna, cause if people aren't quite familiar with you, wanna give them a little bit of background. Um, how how'd you get started in this uh, hear music thing? Um, actually, because I was always into music just as a child, but then eventually, uh, in elementary school, I started being a percussionist, playing the drums and playing so many different percussion instruments, and that that has a real influence in my sound. And then I even used to rap. And even, you know what, that's even a surprise on the uh, mixtape. You actually get to hear me rap, and it's been about five years since I've actually rapped. Okay. So it's basically just, um, I've always been around music, so it's just like, and especially coming from D.C., D.C., Maryland, Virginia, mm-hmm. uh, the go-go influence, that's always been a part of my sound. Okay. So it's just, like I said, music is something that's always been a part of me. Okay, okay. And it's, um, you were mentioning off-air that you also work with Studio... Studio 43. So, um, got the project out, remixed the uh, Wale. What made you choose to work with Wale? Um, basically because in November I was a part of a national contest called I Standards uh, Producers. And basically that was a beat battle of 16 producers and I got to the semifinals and I lost. And I, normally people get like very like unmotivated, but I mean, I just kept uh, pushing and working, and then next thing you know, a month later, the dude who ran it named Jay Hatch hit me with a bunch of Wale acapellas, and he was just like, you can send it to this email if Wale's camp is feeling it, and I was like, you know what, nah, I'm going to do a whole mixtape to it, I'm going to reinvent it, try to make it, not, not necessarily better, but just to have, like I said before, just to have the versatility uh, to give you a little preview of my versatility as a producer, which also touch on, touches on the something about nothing title so like it just it just happened you know things happen for a reason i'm glad this happened okay and now that wale has been signed to maybach music group and is putting out music with rick ross and meek mills and a whole lot more artists on a national level how do you feel about that and it's crazy the way I, his sound has changed i mean i don't think it's really changed just, just like me my versatility as a producer he's a ver- he's one of the most versatile artists today that's coming up so you can see him doing uh old school song like uh anything something from like naughty by nature to doing 600 bands so i think it's just his versatility as an artist I mean, a lot of people say that he's changed. I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't say that he's changed. He just, he's broadening his horizon as an artist. His, he, no, he can't be put in a box. So I mean, at the end of the day, like 10, 20 years from now, you could probably say that he's one of the most versatile artists in hip hop. Okay, and let's talk about other artists. What other artists are you working with, or do you hope to work with, in the near future? Uh, right now, I can't say too much on the major level right now. Um, but for indie, I can say I'm working. Uh, on a couple songs with Ryder MC right now, Gordo Breaker. Um, shout out to my production team, Diamond in the Rough Music Group. Right now, uh, the face of Diamond in the Rough is right here with me today, Julian Ivy. He's about to have his EP drop soon. So, like I said, this kid right here, he he's been featured on Broadway on The Lion King. He he actually plays Simba, so it's like this. He he has a bright future. So I really believe that he's like the next big thing. Okay, that's 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 what's up. We're gonna, you know what? Cause there, you actually brought a track that actually has him on it, right? Yes, that's number ten on the something about nothing mixtape, the house party, 
featuring the one and only Julian Ivey. Like I said, he's only 15, so it's like he's, he's crazy talented. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get back into that. You uh, you going to hang around for Almost, a little? Yeah, most definitely. Okay, all right. Bet. Well, you're listening to The Blender, WMUC 88.1 FM. Don't touch that dial. We're going to be talking to JS the best. The best on the earth, rap, rap full of perp. A legend out here, and I'm in the careers by the end of my year. Two horse when you mention my gear. Low, 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 low showboat. It says Moco. Rose for the hoes in the VIP. I gotta do them all like TI. Whatever you like, it's whatever the night. I might give you the pipe unless you pedal on bikes. I mean, cycling. I was like it. Hit me up a couple days, we can try again. I need Henny on the rock. My queen top notch, and I keep a fly girl like Jenny from the block. Got eight two women, Frostburg women. Tonight, no, everything straight, and we gon' tell step for this that hate, and we gon' drink dark, we gon' take it to the face, and I got them gold bottles, first place, no metal here, I'm well aware, y'all Mario brothers, I'm Metal Gear, I don't ever fear nothing, I'm forever here, hands up DJ, let them hear. Gating, y'all a little jaded. It's Rock Nation. This my team. Going this my team. Then I ditch y'all late in. Amen. Y'all just faking. A cheap lover nigga like H&M. Rich lover nigga like Ray-Bans. I don't know what y'all heard, but hip hop ain't dead. I can change the life in about an eye. I turn ducks in the box, loop right now. Y'all had y'all run, don't run off. Watch a young operate, do we have? I don't really like the Hollywood scene. The dudes all fake and the girls up a lean. Making drinks too weak. What the is up a lean? would never think if you seen it on TV. DMV with a rap or GP. I make it rain, Sean Kemp. GP. I make words come alive. GP. Create life with the beats. A least keys. Before we do the unthinkable, I'ma need a tree, a freak, and a drink or two. What you think of, boo? What you want, love? The coastal. It's your, it's your own cup. Yes, yes, that right there was a house party. Wale, produced by JS The Best, featuring Julian Ivey. Yes. God bless. I told you, the next R&B superstar coming from the DMV, you already know what it is. We don't make moves, we make movements out here. Yo, now, like when you say he was the, the next big thing, like a lot of people say that. But, <laughs> yo. Somebody that comes in here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I might have to agree with you, dog. <laughs> I might have to agree with you. Right. I appreciate it, man. Shoot. Like I said, we, we definitely putting in the work. So it's like, I'm not going to sit up here and just keep saying it. Like, you'll see you'll see the progress through our actions, basically. Let's talk more action. Okay, okay. And we're actually, we're going to do, because that was, that was actually really dope. I didn't realize that <laughs> I was waiting for a verse and it was on the hook. So we're going to do an impromptu interview later on. Um, after we wrap this one up, we're going to play a couple songs. Then we're going to come back with Julian Ivy. Um, man, that boy good. That boy good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what? We're, we're going to come back to this project. How, how, how long did it take you to, to complete it? Um, I started about in January, and then we put out the promo video, actually on my birthday, February 16th. 
So, and now I wrapped it up, what was it, last week? So I would say about four months. Okay, okay. Yeah. And when, when people hear hear this project, what, what do you hope that they get out of it? Basically, a sense of saying that the dude, whoever made that music, is nice. Mm-hmm. Basically, he's nice. And he, he uh, I would say he deserves the recognition of the so-called people that are signed to a, a major label. Because like I said, I'm not signed to any uh, indie label, major label. I'm not signed to anybody right now. So it's basically just saying that you can compare me to those people who are up there right now. So, okay. So okay. like I said, basically this is something about nothing. Basically, I'm the metaphor of nothing. So this is giving you something, that preview of to what I can do as bet, a producer. Bet, bet, bet. Now, you said that you just started at Howard. Oh, um, yeah. I, I just, well, actually, today I just took my last final at Howard University. Shout out to them, the whole class of 2014. You already know what it is. So you, wait, so you took your, your last final of today? your college career? Yeah. Well, no, no. This is my freshman year. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Bet, bet, bet. Uh, nah. All right, so you, so all right, so you, you extra, extra young, extra fresh, yeah. And um, so where do you see yourself in in five years? Five years. Um, so a year after you graduate college, man, uh, definitely doing big things. It's just one thing I can say is a lot of the things that have happened for me so far. It's not something that I, I can necessarily plan and say that I knew that this was going to happen because a lot of the success it just it naturally happens. So. I do see myself doing something very big, but I, I won't tell you exactly what it might be because, like I said, everything happens for a reason and it happens naturally. So, like I said, from now till then, you can definitely see me putting in work. I won't necessarily be saying it on Twitter, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Right, but, right. like I said, my actions will speak for itself. Okay, that's a bet. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up your interview. You're going to hang around because we're going to interview Julian Ivy. Like I said, the next R&B sensation superstar out of the DMV, Julian Ivy. You already know what it is. 15 years old. You already know. Now I'm in the rough music group. <laughs> yeah, but why don't you go ahead and tell the people how they can reach you, where they can download the mixtape, and any last words that you got. Um, like I said, you already know what it is. If you know who I am, you already know. We don't make moves. We make movements out here. And like I said, this is JSNK The Best. You can contact me on Twitter, twitter.com slash JSNK The Best. Um, you can download the mixtape. Just do a search on Google. I'm pretty sure it's out there. But um, something about nothing, you can catch it on my blog, jsakthebest.blogspot.com, datpiff.com, djbooth.net. It's out there. Just Google it. Um, like I said, let's do it. We don't make moves. We make movements. Shout out to uh, Tony Drake and DJ Jemson here. WMUC, you already know. All right, and we're about to go ahead and get into the soup, so go ahead and uh, kick that off for us, good sir. You already know what it is. WMUC, what's good? It's JSAKA, the best. You're now about to listen to the soup produced by yours truly, JSAKA, the best. What you see is a problem What you thought was a prize Is what I see as a blinder 